Welcome to Cutting with Kids. My name is Kalia. And my name is Andrew. Today we're in Minecraft Education Edition. So we're in Python 101, Lesson 4. So first we're going to talk to the CEO. So the CEO says, Hi there, it's good to see you again. I'm afraid that we will be needing your help once more. We're developing software for an animal hospital so that they can take better care of animals. With this software, the veterinarians will also be able to work on a larger number of animals at once using complex sorting code that we are developing. Okay, so we're going to help the CEO. Okay. So first, I'm going to talk to the developer. So the developer says, Hi, would it be possible to get your help? I need to write some code that will make a list of these animals and find them in the correct panels. However, animals keep ending up in the wrong pens. Can you write some code that will list each of the animals and spawn them in the correct areas? Okay. So let's see. First, write some code in a list named my list of the animals going from left to right in the Minecraft world. Place four or more spawn mob at position commands after one that's already given. Use the information from the signs on the pens to complete these commands. So first, we are going to do a list called my list. Okay. Then, let's see. So first there's cow and pig. Okay. Equals cow. Cow. Pig. Okay, then next there is sheep and horse. And horse. Okay, then lastly there is a rabbit. A rabbit. A bunny. Yeah. So we're gonna do a rabbit. Okay. So this is our list. So then we are gonna do Let's see, so first we're going to go to pen, we're just going to go to location, number two, because it already has location one. Okay, so, for pen one we have, okay, so we're going to copy this one, then we're going to paste it. So we're going to change the location one to location two. Then we're going to have minus 2. So we're going to change the 0 to 2 because it states which place in the list you want. So here we have 2, which is sheep, because it's 0 index. So it starts with 0, which is cow, 1 and pig, 2 sheep, and so on. Okay. Next, we are going to do for, for location 3. So now we're going to go to location 3. So we need my list 4. So we're going to change the location 1 to location 3. Then we're going to change the 0 to 4. Now we're going to do it for location 4. We're going to change the location 1 to location 4. And then go to location 4. So we need my list 1. Which is the pig. Yeah. Finally, we're going to do it for location 5. We need my list 3. So we're going to Change to 5 and change this to the 3. So now we're in run. Oh, so it correct. So now we're going to go to activity 2. Well, now we're going to talk to the veteran. So she says, could I ask where you help? These dogs have specific dietary requirements about what they can and can't eat. However, I'm having some problems with the machine that's supposed to make their food. Could you write some code to make the food machine work? Okay, so first, I'm going to go here. So it says, give the first dog everything that's already in the per defined list by changing the values of the first four place block at position commands, so that they each place in order one of the items in the list. Then give the food from the chest to dog number one. So stay there. Okay. So we're going to do dog food 0, dog food 1, dog food 2, dog food 3, and finally dog food 4. Now, we're going to run. Okay, let's do this machine. 
Okay, so we don't need vitamins right now. Okay. So now we're gonna wait for the chest. And now we'll open chest. So we're gonna drag these if these food, bone, beef, and chicken into our hot bar. And then we're gonna go to the first dog and we're gonna drop these down. Okay. So the dog is hungry, so we need to run this again to give it more food. And now we're gonna move it again. Um, biscuits, beef, and chicken. Okay. So I'm gonna feed it some more. Okay, so the lamp lit up so dog one is oh, is done. So now we're gonna go to dog two. Okay. So now we're gonna do next. Give the second dog everything that's already in the list with additional vitamins added. Do this by doing by using the append method to add the variable vitamins to the end of the list. Then change the value of the last place up block, place block up position command so that it places the vitamins in the machine. Then give the dog food to dog number two. So now, after this, we're gonna do dog food dot append. So we're gonna do append vitamins. So here we add the vitamins variable into dog food. Then you're gonna do or paste it. Oops. So we're gonna read this we're gonna copy this and then do this. So we're gonna change this to five, which is vitamins. So now we're gonna see. So we the machine will give every single thing for dog two. No, okay. These biscuits. biscuits. So we added vitamins. Um, and beef, beef and chicken. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go feed the dog two. Okay. And drop these. Now we're gonna do it again because it's still hungry. Oh, don't see it. Yeah. So it's all it's always in different like order. Yeah. And chicken is always last and beef too. Okay, so now we are done feeding dog two and now we need dog three dog three. Okay. So now we are gonna do give the third dog everything that's already in the list but with no beef. Do this by doing the pot method to remove the variable beef from the list. Then give the dog to dog number three. So we're gonna do here dog food, dog food, dog pop. So we're gonna do the pop there, pop function. And pop, let's see, one. Because there's no beef. So zero base is so zero, then one is beef. So now we're gonna run it. Okay. So now there's no beef, so the rest, the block doesn't go to the redstone because we don't need beef. Okay, let's see. So now there are only vitamins, bone, bone biscuits, biscuits, and chicken. Yeah. So all there's no beef. Need, um, bone and chicken, I think. No, they all need chicken, bone, and biscuits. Okay. okay. Do and do. Okay, so now we're gonna feed it one more time. It's still hungry. Yeah. It's vitamins, bone, biscuits, and chicken. So I place them in different order. Okay, now we're done feeding the donkeys. Now we're going to go to last activity to take the fruit. So we're going to talk to the data scientist. So the data scientist says, sorry to bother you, could I get your help? I'm trying to make three pieces of code that will sort these cats' names. This will make it easier for vegetarians to keep track of which cat is which. However, the names I get in the chat doesn't don't seem to be the correct ones. Could you help me by writing code for these for three different cases? So first we're gonna go to number one. Change the last name last cat name Snowy to Shadow. 
Which cat? What cat is now in this position? Five. Okay. So it says set the last name in the list of cats now to to now equal the string shadow. Change the value inside the save command so it's so that it displays the last name in the list. Then press the select a cat button and choose the cat shown in the chat. So we're gonna do oops, cat names. Cat names. This one. Then we're gonna do the same. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do five equals. And we're gonna do shadow. Then we're gonna change to zero. We're gonna play with that say cat names. The last one in the list. Five, which will be shadow. So we're gonna run. Let's see in the chat. So it's just shadow. So we're gonna press this button, which says select cat. And then we can put the button on what which cat we need to select, which is shadow. So this is shadow and the last one. And then press the button. So now it's correct and shadow appear in the golden blocks. Like the cats that were just Now we're gonna go to number two. Show the list of the cat's name alphabetically. Which what cat is now in put list position three? So first we're gonna change the five to a three. And then one, two, three. So it says sort the list of cat names alphabetically using the sort method. Then change the value inside the save command so it displays the fourth name in the list. Then press the uh, select cat cat button and choose the cat shown in the chat. So we're gonna do cat names. Oops. Cat names dot sort. We're gonna do the sort function to sort it alphabetically. So now we're gonna do three. Okay, now we're gonna run. Let's see, Sammy. So now we do this again. And let's see, which one is Sammy? Smokey? Smokey. Or, you know, Sammy. This one's Sammy. Correct. So now she's here and Shadow's gone. Okay, now we're gonna go to the last one. Now we'll reverse the order of cat names. What cat is now in list position f three? Okay, so we're gonna keep this the same. And, uh, okay. Reverse the list of cat names using the reverse method. Keep the same value inside the save command. Then press the select a cat button and choose the cat shown in the chat. So we're gonna go here and do cat names. We're gonna do another function. Cat names dot reverse. So this is the reverse function which will reverse the order of the val of the values inside the list. So now we're gonna want to see the three. Princess. Let's so select the cat again. Let's see which one is princess. Smokey, Oreo, Sammy, Patch, Princess. Is that this one? Perfect. Yay! So now it's rockets over here. Because we finished it. Now we're going to the elevator. And we can press this. So Ooh. now we're at the beginning again. Well, that was fun. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.